everyone. I am Minelli Bernard, a student following the advanced diploma in physiotherapy. And I am here to talk to you on my topic, assessment of exercise related characteristics of those who practice walking as an aerobic exercise. These are my key contents. So let me tell you a bit about what physical activity is. It is considered to be any bodily movement uh, produced by the skeletal muscles that uses energy. So when the body uses oxygen, this makes the exercise an aerobic activity. So wa brisk walking falls under the category of an aerobic activity. The reason why I carried this study out was to assess if brisk walkers walk as an exercise aer aerobically and to find out the reasons behind working aerobically be it of any adverse health effect or of, uh, for any other reason such as a hobby or leisure. So the importance of this study is to also encourage walkers plus non-walkers to engage in at least at least a minute kind of exercise like ex uh, aerobic ex uh, sorry like brisk walking so that they can improve their quality of life by uh, reducing the number of aches and pains many people complain of, uh, of today in my objectives my general objective was to assess the exercise related characteristics of those who practice walking and also the specific objectives or rather the contributing factors such as the types of shoes used for walking, the water intake and uh, to evaluate a particular diet plan and skipping of meals. So I carried out a descriptive cross-sectional study and uh, I uh, assist uh, wa walkers in the districts of Colombo and Gampaha. Um, with a sampling size of 150 individuals and uh, I use the convenience sampling method. Also my exclusion criteria were foreigners and individuals below the age of 20. Also this is the mobile app that I used to uh, assess the number of steps and the speed. Talking about my results, a majority of the participants presented with diabetes and hypertension whereas in the progress of health condition a majority uh, of this of these conditions resolved their conditions to some extent by er uh, working out aerobically and a majority of the per of the people present uh, told me that they exercised for fitness but out of the 52.7 percent that wanted to reduce weight I found out that 16 percent do skip meals and 15.5 percent user uses a diet plan among the genuinely exercised individuals the group age group of 51 to 60 presented the highest number whereas the graph confirms itself by checking the uh, checking the adequate heart rate which is also of the same age category moving on so the individuals who walked genuinely did maintain a mean speed of 1.28 meters per second a total distance of 4 kilometers and a total step count of 4232 steps so to my surprise a majority of the participants do not drink water at all during their exercise and also um, most of the participants did cool down exercises always but a majority of the warm-up exercises were never done also when I assessed the awareness and confidence in selecting shoes a majority did wear proper walking shoes as for, uh, so as they uh, strongly agreed to the awareness and they also strongly agreed to their confidence in selecting shoes so in my conclusion I would like to state that a majority of the exercise related practices were satisfactory in terms of uh, the heart rate 
but the contributing factors such as um, wa the walking shoes and uh, water consumption were not up to a proper standard. So in my recommendation, I would like to uh, state that uh, uh, recommending uh, people to do these exercises properly and walk with proper shoes, y you have an adequate amount of water during uh, uh, exercises is uh, essential and also so, so like also the workers plus non-workers have to be uh, told about these by uh, uh, presenting posters at the walking areas so that these people know and uh, will practice their uh, exercise correctly. These are my references. Thank you for your patient listening. I would be obliged to answer any questions.